and uh, Margaret Kamolzer uh, was Magugan, born in Regina, Saskatchewan, and um, 1945. That's one young girl. Yeah. But my parents moved out west, they moved to Calgary, and that's where I grew up. Uh, my father was in the Alpine Club, mm -hmm. and he used to haul the four, four of us kids out every weekend to go camping and uh, exploring around. So early on, actually, in uh, high school years, I joined the youth hostel group and spent all my weekends then going with the youth hostel up to the mountains. And my father was very supportive of that. He would rather me be running out to the mountains every weekend instead of going into the bars it's right. with a false ID or something. I was a second child, yeah. yeah. So what are the names of your siblings? Uh, my older brother was uh, Bill. He died when he was 21 mm -hmm. in a car accident. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. And then uh, my brother Don is the next one, and sister Barb. Uh, I married my husband Hans, mm -hmm. and he had been renting a cabin in Harvey Heights at uh, 118 Elk Street. So uh, when we got married, that's, that was our home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in 1966. That's what was the moved. house like when you moved in? It was, at the time, it was just four rooms. And we didn't have water. We didn't have a well or septic system yet. So we had to go down to Texaco station and get our water supply, get big jugs of water. Uh, there weren't, weren't too many, I'd say. Probably 20 of the houses might have had full-time people. Yeah, it was uh, cabins. They were originally built kind of as a, a summer place for Calgary and Edmonton people. Little cabins, mm -hmm. yeah. So we added on to our house over the years. I lived there for 42 years. So. Did you have a lot of wildlife around? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah. We yeah. had, um, we'd see, see bears go through occasionally. My neighbor had one bear actually put his nose on the window. <laughs> yeah. And one year I was, uh, we were on the back porch and I was cutting one of my son's hair and there was a bear just out by the fence. I said, Mom, there's a bear right there. Yeah. <laughs> so we'd, we'd see bear and deer and actually not many ungulates. There were quite a few dogs around, so loose, loose dogs. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I never worried about the, the kids playing in the woods. They made a lot of noise. And two, yes, we had two boys. They were 13 months apart. Yeah. And their names? Uh, names were Conrad and Robson. Yeah. Uh, well, Hans was climbing Mount Robson just before he was born and got inspired that if it was a boy, he would name him Robson. And someone said, it's a good thing you weren't climbing Mount Assiniboine. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> yeah. And Conrad's name comes from Conrad Kane, who mm -hmm. was a famous Austrian guy mm -hmm. and one of the first climbers in the Bugaboo area where my husband had his heli ski business. So that was an inspiration to name him. And also, my husband was Austrian. So, uh, well, originally we thought we would raise our children in the Bugaboos. We had plans to actually build a house in Briscoe. We owned a little property there. And we thought we would either live in the Bugaboos and I'd homeschool the kids, and Hans would manage the lodge with his partner, Leo. But as the boys got a little bit older, I realized I didn't have the temperament to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so that meant when they were young, I had to be in Harvey Heights. And uh, Hans would be away most of the winter, actually. So. I raised the kids there pretty well on my own. They went to school in Canmore and in Banff. At one time, Harvey Heights children went to Banff. That's right, because they yes. shot it too. Yeah. So they went to school in both places. Yeah. 